playing. You are ready on to go react to Cameron at the um he he was on the um Bill O'Reilly Bill O'Reilly show like four years ago, a decade ago, basically. So yeah, bro. I saw like I didn't I didn't see the full video I didn't see the full video of this but I did see the the infamous part when Cam say you mad you mad at Bill O'Reilly bro so um yeah bro let's click let's click this impact segment tonight last week the principal of John Reynolds Elementary School in Philadelphia Salome Thomas L told us he believes gangster rap music is extremely harmful to his inner city students so we decided to get grammy nominee cameron who raps about let's be honest though like most kids in these inner cities listen to those type of music though they listen to those type of music whenever they walk down like like the streets bro they listen to that they listen to that type of music bro they hear it bro like and and they and this possibly getting played in there parents um house so like you know like, yeah i get what i'm trying to say you know? uh, pimping and bitches and among other things <laughs> and rap producer damon dash co-founder of rockefeller records together yeah, damon dash shop illuminati <laughs> son with mr thomas l who joins us now from philly oh. and here they all are now we're going to have a nice intelligent discussion here gentlemen and i'm going to moderate this discussion pimping and bitches. Uh, um yeah you know pimping and bitches you got it in your record purple haze right here but anyway let mr thomas l direct his questions and then you guys can answer and you can ask him questions or whatever you want go ahead sir uh yes good evening gentlemen hey, how are you? um how you good 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 I, i'm a big fan of yours i uh, grew up on hip-hop Thank you, um, sir. I'm a little older, so you know I was a Run DMC fan, KRS One, yes, uh, but I'm always promoting the positive rap. I mean, Jay Z's an excellent example of someone who's a has has started his own label, who's an entrepreneur. So always promoting that with my young people. But um, I spoke to some students today in preparation for our conversation tonight, and they were just so excited about the fact that I will be conversating with you guys. But also began to talk about. Uh, um, the impact of the uh, of the, the rap business on uh, on our young people, and, and many of them talked about how they they understand that it's to sell records and and it's uh, you know for promotion. But there are many young people who are affected by the lyrics, by the example, the videos. They talked about how ludicrous. Many of them knew about a video that ludicrous has where there are strippers and and lap dances and those kinds of things. And these are 11, 12, 13 year old students who are very aware of what goes on and. I was just wondering what you like I said bro like you know like I said earlier through this video bro like parents like the parents do be playing those type of songs you know around you know kids bro like in in the household you know but and but like I feel like kids these days kids nowadays kids nowadays still like play like hip hop bro rather it's rather it's inappropriate or not they play inappropriate songs bro kids been playing inappropriate songs back then and now bro like so yeah bro they been playing like inappropriate songs they they forever gonna play inappropriate songs that's just the reality of it is bro your thoughts were on um whether you thought you really had an impact on the lives of young people and whether you thought it was negative or positive Cameron, why don't you go ahead um at the end of the day yeah you got an influence on it but so do movies like with me i'm just an author so what you do is what I do is I write what goes on in the ghetto. I'm not a liar. So if what I tell you goes on in my album, that's what goes on in the streets of Harlem. Now I'm like a reporter. When you look at the news, you don't get mad at the person reporting the news. A lot of influence I think go to movies. A lot of people look at the movies and then they react. The kids that killed them kids and where was that thing? Like Columbine. 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 Yeah. yeah, you feel what I'm saying? I don't think yeah. they were listening to rap at all. I think that was more like a Marilyn Manson jump off, you know, like what if what if, uh, what if an 11 year old kid imitates you camera what if he uses four letter words you imagine and they dress like camera one too <laughs> imagine a kid dressed like camera with the camera one too you yeah, remember camera back in the day he was how he was dressing with the fur jacket you know the the silver rings and the flip phone remember the flip phone and um, he develops uh, a lifestyle based upon the street. He gets tattooed. He gets all this. Do you, you, yeah, well, let me just say, and then you can jump in. Do you feel badly about that? No, I don't. Can I, can I Go maybe ahead. interject? If an if a 11 year old were to, were to imitate Cameron, what they would be doing is becoming the CEO of their own company, controlling their own destiny, taking a bad situation and making it good. Um, he has a, a, a record company. 
He sold a lot of records. He's acted in movies. I, I feel like he's a positive. Also. He has a cologne. I have, an, a, I have a clothing line. He's an entrepreneur. You know what I'm talking about, Dave. Well, no, he's an entrepreneur by his own if, right. If you have a child who is uh, unsupervised and, and then Mr. Thomas L. has to try to um, teach, right. and he's using four-letter words inappropriately, he's dressing inappropriately, he doesn't have value of education, well, then that kid's in trouble. Who's to say what's inappropriate as far as dressing goes, but on another level, when Arnold Schwarzenegger was determinated, he was shooting up half, the, half of everyone in sight. It's a cartoon, though. It's this is more the real. Oh, the Terminator is not a cartoon. It's a, wait, hold on, this right, is real, though, isn't it? Well, in no. My life, everybody's rap is this real. This is real. It's not, a, it's not a Terminator cartoon. All right, Mr. Thomas L., what else do you want to ask these guys? You didn't let me finish. Well, that, wasn't, that wasn't very fair. All right, go ahead. That go ahead. Go ahead. Well, let's cut the man off. Let Mr. Dash now we're talking about the good governor of uh, California. That's right, right. And I'm telling you, his movie's a cartoon. Now, wait, whereas whoa, whoa, his rap whoa. stuff is real life. Oh, but Go you ahead. said if Who there's, there's, wait, hold, 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 hold on, Cam. If there's one, if there's, there's a, that? if there's an unsupervised uh, uh, child, how is he to know whether it's uh, real or not? How is he to determine what's real and what's not real? Who's the supervisor? All right. And, so you and, think and that the way Terminator more... movies are just as damaging or more so than gangster rap? I would have to rap. say, being that there's a visual and yeah. being there's no explanation to them, and being the visuals that on these rap uh, videos too. Though. But what I'm saying is, it's glorified. There's no justification for all the shooting that all goes right. on. So if he's reporting what goes on in, around his street, around the street, he's a product of his environment. Not to say him, but he's reporting what is a product of his environment. How is that wrong for him to report because that? Are you gentlemen, gentlemen, let, gentlemen, are you gentlemen, gentlemen, let's be let honest. Thomas, I'll get in here. Gentlemen, let's be honest. Who do these kids relate to more? You, someone from the inner city, or someone from another country, or someone from the suburbs. Let's be quite honest. Well, what I was you, you came up, you you came up the same way I did, right. the same way millions of these kids do every right. day. We're growing up in a in a fatherless society. We're growing up. A lot of our friends, your friends, my friends, didn't have a lot of supervision at home. Most of the time, they were at our homes. Uh, we were uh, you. We had good parents. We had parents who didn't allow us to do or watch these kinds of things. Right. I but these children now in, in the movie industry. Believe me. I'm a critic of the movie industry also. I think that these kids are watching too much TV, period. But my issue is that when you rap, you rap about what these children relate to because it's in their environment. You've already stated that. That this is that that they don't know your story because you're a CEO, and I agree. But see, you don't promote that, and your company doesn't promote that. They we promote don't, we don't the four-letter words. We don't promote, promote entrepreneurship. And I we, don't we, we don't promote promote positive and, 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 and ownership of your company. I, I'm making it cool to be to be smart. All right, I'm making look, it cool to wait. Let me try. Right, yeah, I'm about making it cool to be a business. It's not about business. It's not about business to you because you feel like it might give you better no. ratings to portray something negative within the industry. It is negative. It is negative. It's not negative to be a businessman. It's not, it's not negative to take it's care of your family around you. It's negative to make money, Mr. Dash, if you it's, hurt children. How do you hurt children by promoting to be an entrepreneur and a CEO and to do right You're by... You're looking at a principal. For example, for example... Hold it, hold it. You're looking at a principal. Why you don't want to talk? You mad, you mad, you mad. See this infamous part, but I'm going to be talking about you mad, you mad. And and you know what's funny, though? People people from here be saying that, though. They be talking... Whenever they get into an argument with somebody, they be saying that you you mad or like or they don't be saying that they be saying I ah, you tight or I I have some some something to that you know but yeah. Hey man, where'd you get where'd you start covering the fear right? No, wrong. Well, you look at the I got dirt man. on you, doggy. Camera, camera, I'm gonna camera. get at you in a minute. You go ahead, you get at I'm gonna get at you in a minute. Listen, you're looking at a guy who teaches, you, who teaches inner city kids and who's telling you face to face that he has problems with kids based upon a rap music, and you're rationalizing it all up and down. I said you were gonna mediate. I am. No, what you're doing is you're giving opinions. That's not. You're not no, objecting mediator now, Bill. It's my program. Bill, oh, now it's your now. program. If, Bill, yes, my friend. Bill, come on, Bill. You'll have the Let's dash factor back some him. other time. I had the dash factor. No, 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 I got a question for Cameron based on what you just said. Come on, let's keep it civil. This is civil. I've got. I've got wait I've a minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Rand. <laughs> now look, if the principal tells you that there are children in his school, Cameron, who are being adversely affected by your music, do you care? I care, but you got to talk to their parents. What if they don't have good parents? Why are they in school? They have their parents to be in school. So Somebody, I mean, it's guardians. You feel me? They some kids don't live with their parents. They, they live with their grandmother, aunties, uncles, or all that. Them in the school. No, no, they, they don't, don't have good. Well, listen, that's school. If that's the case, homeboy, whoever's in my on the television, you need to have parent-teacher conferences with your students. Whether it's they aunt, they cousin, they sister, somebody send these kids to school. They're not 11 years old, staying home by themselves. 
I can't go home and talk to these yes students at night. You need to have more parent-teacher conferences if you have problems with your students. Right, let, him let him reply. Let him reply. Go ahead. Now, now, now you want to let him later. reply. Okay. Mr. Thomas, I'll reply. That was a good point, Cam. Thank you. Right. Actually, no, it's an excellent point. But actually, you are talking to these students because they listen to you every day. So you are. And so I got more influence than their parents. That's a problem. No. That's no, a no, problem. No, no, no. I mean, Cam got a point there. You know, that is a, that problem. Is a problem. So you that, need that, you need that, that parents that, teacher conference because these are your students. You feel me? Is, I can't come if you want me to come to your school and talk to your I, students. I can do that. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Listen, I don't listen, you. listen. He trolling Cam is trolling, trolling, trolling niggas. Are, are you, you have to come to the board of work? Go ahead. Go ahead. Are you going to talk? You have to talk to your parents. You cut. You cut me off, sir. You are mad? Go ahead, Mr. Chuck. He, he trolling. No, 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 no. What, I, what, I'm, what, I, what I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you is that you're making millions of dollars off of these kids. The same kids making? that you're now you know denigrating. The same parents that you're now denigrating. You, know you make millions of dollars off of these people. How do you know how much money I make? Cam, Cam. Go ahead. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. I, I think it's Sorry. pretty unfair for you to judge the circumstance without properly understanding it. But every opportunity we get, we try to say as positive things as we can, which is why when we do make these money, we give back to a community. Me and Cam, ourselves, are from 142nd Street of Linux. We do have a program there that teaches the kids to be positive. We make them go to school. We support a basketball program. And every chance we get, we personally know 150 kids in the neighborhood and speak to them and tell them to stay in school All and right. incentivize them to stay in school. Now, I'm going to take a break. What's I'm going to hold these guys. About that? So, yeah, bro, that's the video. Let me know what y'all think about this, bro. <laughs> like I said, I remember this influence line. Kim was saying, you mad, you mad. <laughs> then, yeah. <I> mean, <laughs> Yo, Cameron wasn't taking this seriously at all, bro. Cameron been a troll, bro. You a packing nigga. But like, but yeah, but it, but at this stance, let me know what y'all think. Do are y'all on Bill? Are y'all Bill O'Reilly? Bill O'Reilly in the in the principal's side, or 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 you or you or you on the side of Dame and Cameron? Let me know. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the vibes. We're really checking out you are.